Hey guys, and welcome back to Daily Duel. So once again, dueling with you know tagging with I almost said dueling tag it's tagging with Tygo. Or or however you say his name. I think I think it's Tygo. Yeah. So once again we're doing that. So part three, you know, you guys seem to be enjoying me tagging with Tygo and you know, uh Topio's not is one of the least interesting to talk about in days because, you know, I it's hard for me to talk about because there's not much that's really happened. But actually, this time there actually is. There actually is. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, I am still sick. I still have a cold. I'm going to try to fight it and get over with it quick because I don't want to sound like crap on all my videos. So, just get out of the way. So, what I'm going to talk about, despite, you know, the episode being Tag with Tag, I'll, I'll put in like parentheses. It'll be called Tournament Report. So, yes, I did enter my local tournament. And the tournament was small small only four people I mean not only eight people yes so you know not something to text you know, not to text your friends about but hey that's how faded <laughs> you know there's only eight people so uh thank you for making an appearance please because I took constellers yes I took please have Lance please have Lance please have Lance do you have Lance it's been so nice if you had Lance Ooh, the advantage of going first sometimes, you know? No. Damn. I think I had Lance, but... You know. Couldn't play it. Couldn't play it! It sucks. What do you say? Finish trying, alright. Uh, so, yes, I did take my Constellers to my locals. Like I said, there's only eight people. And let me tell you how scrubbity dub 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 that my locals is. Keep in mind, there's only eight people. Two of them were Exodia players. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Come on. Really? It's not worth the Phoenix chain. We'll take it. Like, come on, seriously? You know? And they weren't even associated with each other. They were just like, oh, there's another Exodia player here today? Oh, he's so cool. Like, oh, he's not. He's a scrub just like you. <laughs> Alright, special summon this. Normal summon this. Uh, no. Go ahead and make a Leo Arms with this and this. So, uh, round one, I go up against a scrub like so noob that I can't believe I'm dueling against this kid, Wind Up Player. And he didn't even know his own cards, let alone my cards. So, you know, it wasn't really a good duel. Which ones that protects them from being destroyed? No, because I don't want to be targeted, so I'll get a bringer. Uh, and. I'll go ahead and attack your cyber dragon. I really don't care what happens to him. Actually, I might just lance out of the way. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lance out of the way. Wish I would have had that lance for Pleiades. Response? No? Okay. <laughs> nope, not even worth it. Make you waste your mirror force. And, uh, pass you. So, uh, like, he didn't even know his own cards, so, game one, I didn't open up that well, so, it took a while, I was just kind of, like, just poking him, slowly just beating him, beat him, game one. Game two, I opened up with a Constellar OTK, so, uh, I just OTK'd him, so, that was it, game one, so, one, you know, three points for me, victory, you know, now I'm 1-0, ha ha ha, it wasn't even really a victory, didn't, you know. Uh, round two, I go up against Sik Spamarai. Yeah, so Sik Spamarai. You don't have your gateway. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, round one, uh, I don't know. I'm shit. I card card deed the crap out of him. Just drew, 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 drew. Just, you know. And I didn't even need this, so I'm pretty much just beat the crap out of him. Just one. You know, with my trap stuns and my lances, dodge his back row and just hit him for game. So I got round one. Round two, uh, he sighted in, um, 
rivalry of the warlords and I didn't sign in my MST so that kind of locked me down for a while but my back row was so decent that uh, we pretty much locked it down despite that I locked it down despite that I'm saying we because I'm paying attention to the duels going on because we're locking it down no. uh, 69 oh 69 <laughs> both of us um, so it was funny thing and I uh, um, I had so much back row, and I was just, he had 600 life points left. I go, summon Max C. Attack directly. He's at 100 life points left. He draws, sets one back row, pass it to me. I go, attack for game? He's like, mirror force. I'm like, no, Lance. Yeah, drop down to zero, but still block. He's like, ooh. I'm like, mmm, you mad, bro? <laughs> so, I pass to him. He goes smoke signal for I think I don't know the six hundred but the one with the eight hundred eighteen hundred defense sets it. I go draw mind control gimme tech directly with Maxi for game. He's like oh yeah that's game. I'm like ah ha, 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 ah ah you know I killed him with a Maxi. Who does that? This guy. I do that. All right, so I okay. I. 2-0 the 6 Samurai guy. So now I'm 2-0. So, like I said, there's only 8 people. So, you know, there's... Okay. Still trying to figure out what he's doing. I don't know. Oh, he's making a... Chimera tag, what's its face? Yep, chain that up. Just chain it up. Um, so now I'm 2 0. And like I said, there's only 8 people, so now I go up against. You know, it's bound to happen, you know. Uh, I round 3, go up against one of the Exodia players. Yep, yep, yep. Exodia player, here we go. But he wasn't running a generic Exodia deck. He was running like some kind of variant where he summons out like Metal Reflect Slime and basically just stalls the shit out of the game. I know, creative, huh? Oh, yeah, your effect is negated, so you have zero. So that's pretty much just a direct attack on you. So, I will normal summon. Yes, I would like to use the effect. No, because that's what I'm summoning. Oh, I can't be special summon, that's fine. Yeah, summon Goblin Burke, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and make Utopia. Activate him and equip him with the Zixel weapon. Damn, that's still not enough. <laughs> and then Utopia will attack you. No, why would I want to block my attack? I want him to get hit. Okay. Okay, like that changes anything. No. Shit. Shit, now I don't have to worry about your background. Well, I'm done past you. You know, I got a 38 beater. Come on. I can't be targeted. So unless you dark hole me. Oh, I didn't even know this fool was using dragons. You always gotta have an E Dragon player. Oh, he's not using E Dragons. Okay. So trying to figure out what you're gonna do in this situation. So, uh, he's trying to summon Metal Reflex times and trying to stall, but the problem is, on his end, is that I play Trap Stun, so I was pretty much stunning all his Metal Reflex times and shit, played these bouncing it, just kicking his butt, so I win game one with ease, win game two with ease, pretty much just locking down for the victory. So I 2-0 him, and, you know, now I'm XO, you know, I'm, I'm number one, you know, everybody's lost except for me, so I'm number one. So, since there was only eight people, they decided to do just top two instead of top four, because there's only eight people.
So we do top two, so I'm first place. And guess who is second place? Yep, same damn Exodian guy. Same damn person. Really? I gotta duel him again. So, uh, since there's only eight people and there's not a lot of people entered, uh, pretty much first place would get $25 store credit. Second place would get uh, $15 store credit. So, I really didn't feel like doing the damn Exodia deck again. I just too owed you. Don't really feel like doing a whole nother round. So, I'm like, I don't know, maybe they surrendered. I don't know, maybe they surrendered. Surrendered? -ered? I don't know, maybe Latino or Latino? I can't really see because the whole part of Utopians will light it out, so I can't really see it. I think it's Latino. I, think, I don't know, maybe it's surrendered. I put maybe the surrendered and say they. Probably correct that. Hey. Um So I'm like, you wanna just split it? You know, you get twenty, I'll get twenty? I mean we're fighting over five dollars here. And he's like, No, I wanna duel. I want my revenge and it's just like oh okay, sure. So we dice roll, I get the roll, I I roll. So uh I beat him game one. Game two, he signs in against me, he goes first because he lost. He goes first turn, he goes, Prohibition, Trap Stun, Prohibition, MST. Yep, lost connection. Uh, one more, alright, so. Uh, be right back. Alright, we're back. So. Man, Tiger, you can never win Paper, Rock, Scissors. <laughs> oh my god, this card, this card was the MVP of all my duels. Like, it, in the tournament, it won me games. Like, one duel, he had the Metal Flex Time, and I couldn't get over it. I'm like, am I controlling Metal Flex Time? Attack for game? Yeah. You know, one duel, I was like, mind control your card, XC with it. You know, mind control is, is so cheap, so cheap. But the name of the game is store credit, so I'm just trying to win, you know. That deck is dirty, straight, just mean, in your face, up your butt, just straight up dirty. But you know what? Name of the game, store credit, I'm trying to win, you know. So, so like I said, he, round two, he goes, Prohibition MST, Prohibition and Trap Stun. You know, definitely sucks. Um, I was... I, you know, I don't have a Diamond Die Wolf. I do not have a Diamond Die Wolf, and that definitely sucks, because if I had one, you know, I would've just, you know, popped it, and I would've probably won. So, I couldn't get rid of his Metal Reflect Slime, you know, my Misty's, my Trap Stones were all gone. Um, so, pretty much he just, uh, locked it down, and he won the duel. So, well, that round, he didn't win the duel. Hold up, hold up. Round three. Uh, the duel is pretty much going... Uh, at basic speed, then all of a sudden he activates a card that I've never seen before called Scrub Raid. Yeah, so the Scrub plays a card called Scrub Raid. That just says that your deck is, that you're, you're Scrub, you know? Pretty much it says that he can tribute, during either player's battle phase, he can tribute a card on the field, well, send a card from the field to the graveyard, and end the battle phase, right? So he's pretty much sending emissaries and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And then I look at Scrub Raid. This, this, is, my, this is how I get my victory. I've already used two Pleiades. If I had a third one, I, I put th I put the third Pleiades back so damn fast. Oh my god, you don't even know, because I, I used two, two, and I could have went for a third, didn't have a third. I would have won the duel. I'm like, if I lose the duel because I don't have three Pleiades, I'm going to kill myself. I mean, that's so, so dumb. So I read Scrub Raid, and it says, send one card from the field to the graveyard to, you know, end the battle phase. I'm like, oh snap. I'm like, attack. He's like, activate Scrub Raid to block attack. Macrocosmos. Game? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Everybody watching just lost their shit. They were like, oh shit. So, yes. Despite the tournament. Oh. Did they surrender? Did they quit? Really? Did they just really quit? Damn. I didn't even get a turn! Come on. Alright, be right back again. Ugh, oh, finally. Oh my god, it took forever to get some people to tag with us. Like, thank god for editing, because that was like, maybe like a ten minute gap. So, whew, thank god. Alright, so, despite being only eight people in the tournament, I... Okay. I 
get first place. Yes. Go Daniel. Go Daniel. Go Daniel. First place. First place. So, it's like my 25 star credit. The only problem with that small locals and the reason why no one goes there is because you have to spend the star credit that moment, you know. And they don't sell singles. They don't sell single cards. So, uh... I bought myself some new sleeves for my my deck because I said I refuse to buy new sleeves unless I, you know, win them from, you know, uh, entering tournament with store credit. That's the only way I was going to get these sleeves. So my sleeves were getting all dirty and messed up, but I was like, nope, nope, nope. People are like, you should buy new sleeves. Like, nope, 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 nope. So, bought me some new sleeves. I bought my friends some sleeves, my other friends some sleeves. I uh, bought them, like, some chips and drinks. Uh, I wasn't that hungry or thirsty. Um, I bought like a Judgment of the Light, and I bought some other pack, and I didn't pull shit, um, and, yeah, that was pretty much it, so, after that, cause, uh, after I'm had, I leave my little locals, I leave about 4 o'clock, no, no, actually, since it was only small, I left about 2 o'clock, um, I headed over to the big locals, where they already had the tournament started, so I couldn't enter that, uh, in that tournament, they had, oh, I don't care about the tournament, I don't care, because I didn't enter the tournament, I was just playing free play, so as soon as I get to the tournament, um, a guy challenges me to a duel, and we're doing a stellar mirror match, so, I won game one, he won game two, I won game three, okay, so I won that, then I go up against a kid who's playing Dark Worlds, in which case, he he overhears me that I'm playing Costello, challenged me to a duel, and pretty much presides in Light and Prisoning Mirror against me, like a jerk, but A was a little kid, so, like, really, well, who cares? Oh, snap, please, Taranto, because, oh my god, all the dragons that you just put in the graveyard, and on the field, oh my god. Okay. The chain is on backwards. So he would be blocked, he would defuse, and then some of the two monsters, and then wouldn't Torrent will just go off and kill them anyway? Okay. That's dumb. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. He's got a fusion recovery. Uh, so, uh, despite him... Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, of course. Well, I'm gonna have to come back from this. Didn't see that coming. I mean, he used up every single resource that he had, and it's, and it's completely depleted, but, hey. Should I do it? Should I be the biggest douche in Douchington history? Because I think I should be a douche. I think I should be a douche. So I'm going to be a douche. I'm going to be a douche. And I'm going to punish you for doing that, because you're a dick. And you're going to be so mad. So mad at the fusion, some of my flame swordsmen. No. Why'd I put that in defense? That was a misclick. I don't care. Blow it up. No. Oh, yeah, it is original attack. I know what I'm doing. I got this. Got this. Man. I'm fucking do it. I'm fucking sell it. I know how to use Vulcan and Garden Charger. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> GG. <laughs> Alright, uh, no more duels. No more duels. I'm gonna finish talking. So, uh, despite him using Light and Prison Mirror, 
uh, with my back row and stuff, I just jump him with all my monsters, so I still win. So, get out of my face with that. Then I'll go up against Gravekeepers, and I win game one, he wins game two, I win game three, so beat him. And then I go up against Dragoonity E Dragons and Dressive Dragoonities. Uh, he wins round one, I win round two, I win round three. And that's all the dueling did. So, the entire Saturday, the entire October 5th, many, many duels I have did, and many, many duels I have won and went undefeated, despite getting first place in the tournament, the rest of the day went undefeated for the rest of the day. Unfreaking defeated. Didn't lose. So, um, other things, I, at my, uh, big locals, I, you know, guys know I picked up an Xbox and Jet Set Radio. Well, I beat the game. I unlocked all the characters I wanted to. I got tired of it, so I pretty much returned the Xbox and the um, Jet Set Radio for... They couldn't give me a refund, so they just pretty much gave me store credit, which is fine. Because I'm pretty much going to turn that into more games and stuff, or, or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Because my big locals has actual singles. So, I, they gave me sixty-five. I mean, $64 store credit for the return, and... <clears throat> ah, I can hear like a wisp in my voice. Ah, God, I'm still sick. Um, this is your dollar store credit, so you know I can spend it on Yu-Gi-Oh cards or whatever. I'm not gonna spend it on Diamond Dark. Well, if I sure know that. Like, there's a room every ten. I'm, you know, if it's true, I'm just gonna wait. You know, but it'd be nice to have one. Anyway, uh, so got sixty-four dollars store credit. Uh, we've been having fun on GameCube lately. I know, like what? Yeah. Um, uh, so. I picked up, uh, my friends wanted Clash of the Ninja 2, so we picked that up, uh, my f we wanted Sonic Heroes, so we picked that up, and a little game called Evolution World, I, I wanted that, that was my personal thing, um, I really wanted to pick up, a uh, Custom Robo, but I just didn't have enough, so I was like, damn, maybe if we return the games, we'll pick up Custom Robo next time, it's really whatever, you know, so, uh, that's pretty much, uh, my report. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, uh, go ahead and say in the comments, say, hey, congrats on first place, you know. No, despite, I mean, despite it being only eight people, I still won, you know. There's even a mermail guy, and he didn't even get top eight. Well, of course, he got top eight, there's only eight people, but he didn't even get top four, let alone top two. So, you know, I was the winner. I went undefeated the entire day, I even beat E-Dragons, I mean, a range of decks, even Mirror Match, still won. So, I love my Castello deck, he's doing awesome. Hey, the old mastery, you gonna do a deck profile? You can start a deck now. No, it's mine. It's mine. I worked hella hard on that deck. Alright? Worked hard on that deck, and it's expensive. Alright? Very expensive. I will just give you just a taste of how expensive that deck is, because I'm just so you can know. I got Triple Valor, Triple Maxi, Triple Vanity. Yeah! Expensive! Alright? So. There you go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this locals report. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tagging with Tygo duels. Uh, you know, uh, thank you once again, Tygo, for joining me. Uh, if I'm saying your name incorrectly, I apologize. Uh, I remember you telling me that I, I said it wrong and then I said it right, but I can't remember which one was the one where I said it wrong and which one's wrong. I think it's Tygo, because I think one time I said Tiago or Tigo or T uh, something like that, and you're like, no, that's wrong. So, I apologize if I'm saying it wrong, but I think it's Tygo. Alright. Or, yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Tygo. If I'm wrong, correct me. On this video. Alright, because I know, despite you being in the video, I know you watch. Because, you know, you don't come here for the duels when you do. But you come here for the commentary. Because I'm awesome. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, you know, uh, wish me luck in getting better. I'm still sick. And, uh, you know. I gotta go back to school. Of course, I'm recording these ahead of time, so it's Sunday. I'm gonna try to rest up. And, um, you know, Monday, gotta go back to college. And hopefully, be okay. And I got a history test, too, and I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be coughing and sneezing and wheezing and dying right on my history test. <laughs> but it's really. I'll, I'll, I'll do okay. I'm not worried. Damn, I'm sick, too, man. I wanted to spit my game at some freaking girls. Uh, man, I'm gonna be like, hey, girl, you single? <laughs> you know? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should just wait till I get better before I, you know, start flirting with some girls. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Boojins.